Holy shit. shit. Dude, that Holy was shit. sick. <laughs> I'm leaving that. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Dion Castell, and this is Castell Collects. Uh, Castell Collects, Castell Collects. Yeah, hit that Macari, sell what he gets. Yeah, he do unboxings and giveaways. Yeah, let's get to watching what he gets today. Yeah, Castell Collects, Castell Collects. Yeah, Castell Collects, Castell Collects. Yeah, he do unboxings and giveaways. Yeah, let's get to watching what he gets today. Yeah, Castell Collects. All right, it's about time. First and foremost, it's Comic Con week. It is New York Comic Con week. Not San Diego, not anybody else, not Texas, not, not Chicago, nothing. New York Comic Con. So excited. It's finally happening. We got special guests in the building tonight. Number one, the new roommate, temporary. Big Dolly. Dolly, what up? And all the way back from Texas, my good friend, the man to make the legend himself, the waffle god himself, Joseph Lim. Joseph Lim, bring it on in. Take two. Take two. So as you guys know, last time we did this with Joe Lim, we did a bunch of mystery boxes. We went over the whole Comic-Con experience. For those of you guys who have never done it, this year, me and J uh, Jay Lim over here, we have a four-day pass. Now, I'm only going to go to two days, maybe three, but Joe's going to go to all four, and we will do a recap for you. But we wanted to start off the celebration of New York Comic Con week with doing an unboxing, because guess who finally got a statue in the mail? Let's unbox this and show you guys what we got. Riley, you good? Riley. Riley's good. Let's go. She said. Beep, 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 beep. And there you have it. It's fastball time. Let's go. That's right, guys. The fastball special is finally here. Now, this has probably been the hardest decision I've ever had to make in a statue. Now, if you're familiar with actually what the fastball special is, this is when Colossus is actually throwing Wolverine at full speed with his claws out, ready to tear things up. And to be perfectly honest with you, I myself was really torn about which one of these options to pick. So we have option one right here. And then we have option two right here. Now you can see right then and there, there are two major differences with both these pieces. Well, with the bait of both Gatman and Dolly at the time of deciding, we texted back, what do you think, Dolly, for like two hours about this, right? It was a debate. It was a debate. We had a very big debate about it. Now the issue is this, right? So in option one, you have this incredible piece where it is actually the fastball special with... Colossus throwing Wolverine and then the comic line behind it, which is really, really cool. It's like it's like Wolverine like bursting out of the comic. But then you have option two, which is actually this piece right here. But you know what? Before I explain it, let's just build it. So before we even start doing the actual build, this is the base, okay? This is awesome. So I was saying in past videos how disappointed that was in Sideshow, and I haven't really bought a lot of pieces from Sideshow. I mean, Dolly could attest to that. I just stopped doing it because I thought they were really doing a lot less with their product. Well, after they did the, I think it was, I was really impressed with the Nightcrawler they did and the Gambit. And I think they stepped it up a lot since then. I mean, there's a couple stupid pieces they made, but this is just showing that Sideshow decided to take it to the next level. Um, on the back, we have number 131 of 700, fastball special. So we're gonna drop this base right here and let's get the building. All right, guys, so here you have it. This is the this is the definition of a fastball special. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. Sideshow, way to step it up, way to come back into the world of statues and make it exciting to buy statues again. This nails it. Now, again, we we're talking about another option that you can see right here. Now, this other option that I'm showing you obviously has the awesome comic strip behind it. Now, that is a big, big, big difference between two pieces. However, it is a much smaller size. So when you go with that, you're literally going to lose, I think it's like a one, I think it's one quarter or something like that or whatever it was. It takes away so much from the actual size of the statue like you see here. But you do get the very cool comic strip. Between me, Gatman, and Dolly, we were overthinking this so much. But now that I've seen the comic book version and now this one in, in person, 
I am very happy with the decision I made because pause, all pause, size does matter. There is a huge difference in the two products. And I think the problem with the comic book one is you're kind of taking the realism away from it because you're adding the comic book to it. But it's a very cool feature of it. However, I love the way this looks. And I think bigger is better when it comes to the statue. Because this is probably one of the most iconic poses in Marvel history. I mean, what other really cool things can we say in Marvel history? Do we have anything else? You gotta have something, Dolly. You're a nerd. Jay Lim, you're a nerd. You guys know anything? This is the top of the list. This me. is the top of the list, and it is so amazing. I actually, as I look at it more and more, I'm not sure how I would display this. Because you really want to display it like this, because this is the scene. But when you do it like this, you get the total feel of both characters. So I think this is phenomenal. I will say that I thought I was going to be a lot more disappointed in the paintwork, but they just did an awesome job. I think Colossus might be a little bit too gray and not so much that chromey look, which is fine because the shadowing on all the details on his, his muscles and everything looks a lot better. I think that, you know what? Again, I was actually going to try to see something bad and I can't. So there's actually hair on Wolverine's arm, which you guys really can't see. Uh, it's painted on, obviously, because I'm not going to put... I can't donate hair to put on him. But I thought that would look bad. It doesn't. It looks really good. They just really took their time painting these. I will say something bad. The one thing that nobody can really do is really make smoldering fire look good. So this kind of looks like burnt cauliflower. But I'm not at all mad about it. You know, we've had that issue down there with the... Super scrawl, the fire. There's really nothing you can do. But if I if I had to force a complaint out of this, that would be the only thing. Honestly, the Sentinel head looks good. Everything looks to scale. This piece is incredible. I, I want to point this out. And again, it's a detail that I'll have to... I don't even need to give a close-up. You guys can see it right there. The, the, the stock, the leggings, that uh, the boots that he's wearing around his calf muscles, it's a, it looks like leather. What's really cool about it is you can see it here. You can see all the dirt that's embedded in the leather when you can't clean leather very well and you don't wax it or whatever it is. You can see the dirt in it. I think that is such an awesome, awesome, awesome thing. And even on the back of just something so silly as Wolverine's boot having all the wear and dirt on it, I got to tell you, Sideshow woke up and chose violence. They chose violence with this. Sideshow nailed it. Again, I'm not disappointed. I didn't get the one with the comic book because I've seen that one in person, and I was a little bit like, oh man, I made a mistake, until this is here. This is hands down. This might go in top five. Wolverine's my number one. So. He's your number one. Wolverine's your number one? I, I'm flabbergasted on how good this looks. You know, you know Wolverine's my number one. Colossus and Gambit are like my number two, three. And that's so, such a, that's a classic move, you know? So classic. So classic. This is awesome. So... If you guys have the opportunity, this is number 131 of 700. In my opinion, Sideshow finally brought out a Grail. Their last big Grail. What was their last Grail? I don't even know. Oh, Thanos on the Throne. In my opinion, that was one of their last Grails. Maybe they had one or two in the mix. But I, I'm going to tell you, this is a Sideshow Grail. Sideshow, amazing job. What an incredible piece. I wish I could talk bad about this. I wish I could be disappointed in this. Um, speechless. Yeah, no, they did a good job with the, all the details, even like the minute details that you're talking about, like even like the worn shoes, the dirt and the leather. It just hits. It does. It just hits. I think for me is they do a lot of different variations of Wolverine, and a lot of them don't hit like the 90s Wolverine hits, especially from the cartoon. That is perfect. I mean, he sized perfectly. But I'm talking about the suit. Like, look how good that that's straight from the oh, X-Men yeah. cartoon. Yeah. Like, like there, there is no defeating that. And I'll tell you what, if they were to stand up next to each other, they're probably scaled perfectly. Insane. This is definitely the perfect scaling of any statue I own. I could not be more excited to own this. Listen, guys, we got the next four days jam-packed with Comic-Con. I'm super excited. This is the best way to start it off. I'm literally editing this on Wednesday night to get this out for you guys for tomorrow, Thursday. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys kick back and relax because... We're about to waste money. Bottom line. Bottom line. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I'm ready for it tomorrow. Stay tuned, guys, because we're about to come and show you guys a lot of great and fun things that we see. At this day. man has... No, time out. This guy has issues. 
This guy's gonna run around and grab pins. Pins. <laughs> he doesn't. He flew all the way from Texas to steal pins. There are ultra rare pins at CGC that you can go after, and then if you hit certain ones, you get free CGC books like that. Up. The the Godzilla one I was telling you. You about, steal yeah, pins from books. people, and then you get a comic book. Yeah, I graded comic book at nine point eight. So Dolly's not coming this year. Dolly's too good for it. So don't, he's don't out. go to Comic Con unless you're bringing a bag. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell us what you think about this fastball special because it is so freaking awesome. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below. Big shouts to all you guys. I hope I can see you guys at Comic Con. I'm hoping I get to see some people. Yo, someone recognized me last year. Oh yeah, that is that's a come up. Aren't you? Uh, aren't you? Uh... He's like, aren't you the guy? The guy? The bald guy? I I'll take it. I I am the bald guy. Anyway, guys, again, we'll see you on the next one. Your boy Dia Castell, Jay Lim, Dolly. Have a wonderful evening, and I hope we get to catch you all at Comic Con. We'll see you on the next one.